Hello friends, I hope that you are all doing well. Welcome to this discussion where we are going to go through the latest updates that is for the DV 2023 and these are the cutoff numbers for the month of September and that is for the DV 2023. This is a very important update as this uh, marks the final cutoff numbers for the DV 2023 and this comes as good news to many and also bad news to others. So where are you? Are you in the good news group or in the bad news group? If you find this information useful, please subscribe for more. These latest updates for the DV 2023 are in this place. So we've been having the July visa bulletin and now in the upcoming visa bulletin for the August 2023, that's where we are going. So we check August 2023. I'll go straight to the cutoff numbers. So for the August visa bulletin, it will have the cutoff numbers for the month of August and for the month of September. And that is for the DV 2023. So here is the update. So for August, the cutoff numbers for Africa were 63,500. Asia, we can see 21, Europe, 32. North America is current, Oceania, South America. But here is the uh, update. So we see in September, Africa goes current and it uh, has been so for some time except for the highest case number. And you can see in September, Africa goes current. Therefore, people, the person who had the highest case number in Africa, if is lucky to be from a country or a US embassy that is perform performing well in the scheduling of the interviews, will be lucky. But let's see what other countries have, especially those with the exceptionals. Uh, we can see Algeria at 45,000. You know, it has retained 45,000 as the cutoff number. So anyone from Algeria with a case number above that is unlucky. If from Egypt, initially in July was 43,200 and it the same has been retained. So anyone with above 43,200 is unlucky. So and you can check and compare the other countries and regions. For example, you can see Asia was 21,000 has retained the same. And therefore, if you have a higher case number from Asia, which is above, if your case number is above 21,000, then you're unlucky. If you're from Iran, and you can see Iran at 14,000, but with September, it's 16,000. So there are around 2,000. Uh, case numbers that have become current, so th there are people who are lucky in from Iran, and you can see Europe. Europe had uh, Europe had thirty two. They have retained the same. So anyone from Europe with a case number above that cutoff number is unlucky, and you can check uh, Amer North America has been current for quite some time. You can check Oceania. Oceania had uh, 1,650 and now it's 2,500. So those people who had case numbers above 1,000 
650 and below 2500 from Oceania are lucky they will, uh, to go current and for South America you can see they add 2900 and now it's 3150 so the people between 2900 and 3150 case numbers between that are lucky to go current so you can see there are some people who will be happy having their case number go current in those months and with this cutoff numbers being the final for the DV 2023 it's unfortunate for the people who have case numbers above what has been indicated as the final cutoff numbers for the DV 2023 so there is but there's still hope for them you can still try again apply for other dv programs something else to also note with this uh, dv 2023 interview scheduling is how the u.s embassy performance has greatly affected several people gone are the days when the case number really determined a lot on how or whether you are lucky to be scheduled for interview that is for the dv interview but we've seen this time round there are people who had lower case numbers but they were unlucky for being in countries or u.s embassies that did not perform well in the scheduling of the dv interviews i will link a discussion i made earlier about the three major factors that uh, determine whether you are lucky to be scheduled for interview so you can check it and be informed of the various factors that affect someone's chances of being interviewed as a dv lottery winner friends that's all for this discussion i hope you found this information useful if you did please subscribe for more i will see you all in the next one bye